What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Today, March 26, 2019, LaunchBox 9.6 has been released. I figured I'd take this time and go over a couple of the new premium features we've built in. But first, like always, we do have a full change log. I'll leave a link in the description. Got a lot of fixes, improvements, and some really awesome new features. As for improvements, I'm just going to kind of pick and choose here, but like I said, there is a change log so you can read through the whole thing if you want to. First improvement, game controller performance in big box has been improved. This new improvement really helps out with lower end systems. Some people were having issues when navigating with a controller. It was kind of choppy. Their keyboard would be super steady, but then when they move over to the controller, they would get some glitches every once in a while. This should be fixed. A lot of these new improvements are really geared towards theme developers because we've added a really awesome new premium feature. A themes manager is now built into Big Box that will allow you to manage, download, uninstall, and update your Big Box or startup themes. As of making this video, we do have a bunch of themes available in the manager, but you're not going to see every one from the download section over on the forum. There is an approval process to get your theme approved to be in the themes manager. We want to make sure that everything is smooth and in the right place before it gets approved for the theme manager, so there's no issues when downloading and installing from the manager. It's going to make it easier on the end user. The developer may have to do a little more work but this way we can get some really awesome themes in the manager. If you still want to head over to the forum and download your big box custom themes manually and install them, it's totally up to you. We're going to leave this section up, but every single theme you see over here isn't going to be available in the theme manager yet. Now I want to demo the new themes manager for you. From within big box, we're just going to back up to the settings menu and we have two new options, manage themes and manage startup themes. We're going to be focusing on manage themes. We're going to enter this menu. From here, we have five choices. I'm actually running the default theme. I only have four themes installed. If you have a theme installed that requires an update or has an update available, it'll be listed here. You can go ahead and update from the theme manager. Most popular, new and updated, and all. I'm just going to head into the all section. And here it is. Like I said, more themes will be available over time, so check back regularly. I'm going to scroll down to unified, one of my favorites. If we select Unified, we can like the theme here, we can install, you can get support, this will take us over to the support forum thread, details, description, views, credits, requirements, and changes. So all we need to do from here is click install, it's going to download for us and automatically install, then we need to apply it. We're going to let this finish up. The Unified theme is now installed successfully. All we need to do is apply it. So we're going to reselect the Unified theme. We can apply as the main theme, or we can apply to. This will bring us back down to the View section. So my favorite with Unified is Vertical Wheel 3. I'm going to press Enter. Apply to Specific Platform. Apply to Specific Playlist. Apply to All Games List and Override Any Platform Playlist Specific Theme. And finally, apply to all games list, but keep existing platform playlist specific themes. So from here, we can just choose apply to specific platform. I could apply this to arcade, go in and apply, let's say critical zone to my Amiga section. But for me, I'm just going to apply to all games list and overwrite any platform specific themes. So I'm going to press enter here. Now we can back out. I now have the unified theme installed and set up properly. I'm going to back out. I'll go right in the Sega Saturn. And I change it to Vertical Wheel 3. This is how I want mine to look. I think this looks amazing. And as for the startup themes, basically the same thing, but we're going to go to the Manage Startup Theme section. And there's only three available. I have all three installed. It's going to be the same exact thing. We're going to go to all. When more is available, we'll have them listed here. Big logo. Multi-image. And Neon Deluxe. So mine are already installed. If you need to update them, you'll have an update listed here. You can go ahead and install it from there. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out the change log. Like I mentioned, a lot of this is geared towards the theme developers, but we have that new theme manager, so we kind of needed to get this out also. If you still want to download and manually install big box custom themes, they're all available on the forum. You can do it like you have been. No trouble at all. We'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.